Hey YouTube fans, what's going on? It's me, your boy Winston, back with another CP7 uh, video. Today I'm going to be installing something on the CP7 that's going to bring back memories. It's going to bring you back, you know, back in the years of the, our youth, if you, you know, if you may. Uh, I used to work on cars uh, back when I was a teenager still. Uh, I never documented any of this though because back then, you know, in the dinosaur days, I didn't, ha you know, we didn't have internet, we didn't have... You know, uh, <laughs> we didn't have social media. All we had was a pager. Okay, we knew I'm back in the numeric, numeric days. Um, anyways, I'm gonna be putting something on today, and you know, I think you're gonna like it. it. It's very fitting for this car, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna agree with agree with me once it's installed. So if you're into the kind, of, these kinds of installs and stuff like that, and DIYs and how tos and stuff. Go ahead and hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you help support this channel and you show YouTube you know, and its algorithms that you like videos like this, okay? So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now here we have an old school classic right here, but I'm glad that companies like Pilot right here has brought back this five panel wide angle, wide angle mirror. Now... This is the stuff that it came with, okay? The mirror, brackets, the side mounts, some little knobs to adjust the uh, the angles and height, some nuts and washers and screws, okay? And mounting screws. What it doesn't come with is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and a Phillips head screwdriver, okay? Very simple. Obviously, the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking off the window visors like these that are secured by two Phillips head screwdrivers that look like these. Okay? They look like cones. You might not be able to see it. I don't know if you can, but that's what they look like. And they're going to have four of them. Okay? So disconnect those. And I would suggest taking off the rear view mirrors because you won't need them anymore. If you're going to take off the uh, rear view mirror, it would probably be in your best interest that you have a pry bar or a pry tool, I should say, to take this plastic panel off. Okay, and you're going to insert it like so. You're going to insert it like so. And pop off that plastic piece. Ta da! And you just go ahead and unscrew those. Work on the screws. And it's going to look just like that. For me, for my aesthetic sake, my, as my preference, I just decided to put this plate back on. That way, you don't see any of the uh, the um, foam foamy part of the uh, headliner. Make sure when you mount the bracket, it's on there tight, okay, and straight. Make sure to rinse and repeat for the other side. When you mount the hardware, make sure that the bolt, the short bolt, goes on one side and the washer and the nut goes in the other side. And then you're going to do that for both sides, okay? There's a square pattern on one of these, uh, one end of these brackets. And you're going to need to line up your screw with it because a part of that screw has a square part of that screw has a square head you see that just like that this is where your 10 mil socket and ratchet comes in handy because you're going to need that to tighten that mount down 
rinse and repeat. Now you're going to test fit your mirror and then you're going to shoot a square shaped screw into that hole. You see that hole right there? You're going to put in this last screw and it's a square shaped um, square shaped screw and then you're going to insert that through this hole right here on your on your bracket like so and then you're going to put on each side each one of those knobs along with the washer and the nut now in case you didn't catch my drift earlier the washer goes in between there between this bracket and the knob okay it that's where it, that's where that goes and then the nut goes in that hole okay you're gonna rinse and repeat for the other side And now you have your five panel rear view mirror. Isn't that great? Now this pretty much concludes the actual install itself. But as far as aesthetics goes, if you really if you're still kind of bothered with the the look of the headliner still showing up on the edges where the visors used to uh, used to be at where the, the mounts were what I did is I took a piece of uh, cut out the shape of the visor mounts and I cut out some sheet metal to cover you know I cut, I cut out the shapes of sheet metal according to this template and then I made two of those and I put them in place where the mounts where the visors used to go in its place that way it kind of hides the the headliner okay so if you if you're really stickler about how things look afterwards go ahead and try that out okay so you know that way you know I, I'm, I'm one of those people that's just like eh, that kind of looks kind of ugly all right <laughs> so that's what I did I just did I took a simple cardboard cutout and I made sheet metal pieces so that I could put it in its place and I mounted it from there, okay? If you found that this content was useful to you, please follow me on Instagram, YT underscore Winston Buzon, and also subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, like and share this video and all the other videos you might wanna check out in my library. And until next time, stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. All right, see ya. Bye.